Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunderbus Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thunderbus Fishing Tips. We're out here on beautiful Lake Erie. We made a trip to Long Point Bay. I haven't been here in a few years. It's a beautiful spot. We're going to be looking for uh, largemouth bass mainly and pike today. It's a gorgeous day. It's early July, so stay tuned folks. We're sure to have a great show. I'm here with Antonio Phil and we even brought Nicole along. So we have a boat full and we're looking to have a good day on the water. Come on Evo. Nice. Okay, I'll come by with a net. Right over those weed beds, right eh? You're right in the weeds. weeds yeah. Right in the weeds, are you? Oh, it's a large mouth. Oh, a nice large mouth. Hang on. Bring them over. Okay. There we go. A little bit of grass on them. <laughs> <laughs> so, see? Hey, that's all right. That's yeah. a nice large mouth, eh? Sure. Beautiful. Right over those weeds. Yep, right on top of the weeds. Nice. That was nice. Yeah, little guy. Let's see him there. He's it about. get a lot bigger than this. <laughs> oh yeah, he's uh, about a pounder. Yeah, let's say a pound. So what we're doing here, folks, we're out in, uh, we're fishing the deeper water, and uh, there's these deep weed beds in here, and we're just working these uh, python darters over top of the weed beds. What do you? How do you got your darter rig there? I put on a three-inch minnow. I love to use my artificial minnow. Okay. It's great action on the back of a python. So you got your python darter with a little. A little yeah. three inch minnow there yeah. rigged on there. Let's see that. Okay, that's just perfect. Like that. And he just hammered it. Oh yeah, it's fantastic action. Uh, hard to resist for them, I think. Beautiful. Okay, well you keep working that weed. Uh, I'm gonna be working more of the edge and you're working over top of those over weeds. Top eh? and, yep, just with the three eighths uh, python darter. Beautiful. I got an actual, uh, I got a little leech on the back of mine, so I'm gonna see, keep working like up leech, here. Eh? Yeah, I like that <laughs> leech. It's a lot of fishing pressure in here, so um, but this this weed, weed bed doesn't seem to be too uh, too affected by it right now. There's a lot of boats around us, but not necessarily right here. So what we're doing, folks, as I mentioned, we're out here. There's a lot of deep weed beds in here, and they're like pockets of weeds and open areas. And what we're doing is we're we're casting towards the weed beds, and Phil caught that largemouth just on top of the weed bed. And the other thing we're doing is working these python darters just on the edges of the weed beds and uh, slowly retrieving back in. We're fishing at about uh, 10 feet of water, looking at the graph there, hey Phil, 10 feet? Yeah, that's about right. 10 feet of water, and the weeds come up, not quite to the surface, but they're coming up to about uh, four feet below the surface, so it's absolutely perfect. The water is a little bit, um, a little bit murky. It's not exactly crystal clear, and actually that's why I'm running this, uh, this gold python darter, because the gold color actually reflects very, very nicely in this uh, murky or stained water. But now mind you, with this heavy sun, um, a chrome colored or a silver based uh, lure also would work very, very well. So you really can't go wrong today, but it's a beautiful day out here. And i um, like to get into some pike too. It would be nice to catch some pike. Uh, I love catching pike, but for now, large mouth and bass, can't go wrong with that either. Hey Phil, beautiful day. Yeah, we'll take either of them. We'll take it. And the other thing I do, Folks, when you're reeling uh, with spoons and you want to keep them down there, um, about a second per feet per foot. So it'll go, drop down about a second per foot. I know I'm in nine feet of water, and then just get it started there and keep the rod tip pointed down, and that'll keep the lure down as you're as you're cranking in. And uh, it also does another thing with the rod tip down. Not only does it keep your lure down, it also allows you to set the hook very very nicely uh, when you do get a hit. So. A lot of good reasons to keep that rod tip down. I think Phil, he's got a good one here. <laughs> yeah, I've seen him jump. Nice hook set. Let me grab the net. Take your time, Antonio. That looked like a nice fish. He comes barreling out of the water. He's got some size to it. What a jump that was. There he is. Easy, easy. There you go. Not bad. There's a, not bad. That's a nice bass, Antonio, right there. Beautiful. Hey. Eh? Oh, yeah, look at bad. that. He's just barely hooked, too. You, you, you put a jig on. I did, yeah. He's barely, barely hooked. Here, have the honors. Nice fish. That's a nice large mouth. Yeah. For this area, anyhow. We'll let him go. Yeah, that's a nice one. Boy, what a nice jump out of the water, though, eh? Now, he came, tell the truth. <laughs> right where he told you to cast, there's yeah. a weed bed here, and it kind of circles around like so, and it comes just to a little bit of a point. And, uh, Working those points and those edges of those weeds, those bass are sitting on there, eh? 
and he just come out and he ambushed that. What'd you give it? One jig? One jig, that was it. One jig. <laughs> but as soon as you set the hook, he I know, he came straight out. He came straight out of the water. That's nice. I love it.